Hey guys, you're watching episode 3 of the Fragdoll Tabletop Gaming series. This month, we're showcasing a board game based on an Xbox Live Arcade game set in the final years of World War II called Panzer General Allied Assault. Panzer General is a war game where you and a friend can play as the US and German armies in World War II. The game is played on a board, but your army is made up entirely of troop and event cards that can turn the tide of battle. During setup, select a scenario from the rulebook to recreate a historic battle from World War II. The scenario will specify the map layout and the deck type for each player. Before going to war, it's always a good idea to come up with a strategy. So here are a few ways you can win. You can earn the most points, or prestige in this game. You can destroy the enemy army, or you can capture the enemy base. Each turn consists of the following phases. Drawing cards to replenish your hand, moving troops, placing new troops on the board, and initiating combat. When drawing cards, you can choose to draw either troop or event cards. Troop cards display stats including attack values versus infantry and tanks, defense, and health points, as well as special rules for that unit. Event cards display special event rules that can help you during the move and combat phases. Every time you move a unit into a new space, you earn a prestige point. You can place new troops on the board by paying their prestige cost, but you can't use them during this turn. Troops can only initiate combat when they are adjacent to an enemy unit. Let's use the M36 Jackson tank versus the German PZ4 tank as an example. The Jackson tank is attacking, so we use the attack value versus tanks, which is 10, and place the attack marker on the combat board like so. Then we place the PZ4's defense value of 8 and place that on the combat board as well. Now each player can play combat event cards to increase or decrease the attack and defense values. Based on these new values, each player has the opportunity to play any card from their hand as a sacrifice to help increase their attack or defense value. The sacrifice value is displayed in the small red circle on the card. Finally, a random card is drawn from the event deck and is used as the tactical modifier for the battle. This value only affects the attack value and can be good or bad. What you see here are the final scores for the Jackson vs. PZ-4 combat phase, where the Jackson tank has 12 attack points and the PZ-4 tank has 5 defense points. This comes to a difference of 7. Find the difference value on the combat board and use the red number in the square as the damage amount. Here the PZ-4 tank takes 4 damage. If the enemy unit is not destroyed, your enemy may now attack you. At the end of your turn, count up the number of prestige points on the board and add that to your total prestige value. If you get to the end of the scenario, and neither army has been defeated or had their base captured, then whoever has the most prestige points wins. The game is simple to mod, so you can play the actual battles from World War II, or you can create your own new scenarios based on your decks and maps. You can also play Panzer General single player, since the game has a simulated AI that dictates the moves of your opponent. This is a great way to learn the rules or practice strategies before you take your friends to war. Now, if you prefer silicone-based AI, you can also play Panzer General on Xbox Live Arcade. The digital version allows you to play single player or online against your friends. It plays just like the board game, so players can seamlessly move from one to the other, and you can play the trial version for free or download the full game for 400 Microsoft points. Mad props go out to Petroglyph and Ubisoft for developing and publishing the game for both tabletop and console gamers. But that's it for episode 3. I hope you guys enjoyed learning about Panzer General, and I can't wait to hear what you guys think about it. So leave a comment on this YouTube page to let me know what you think about the game, this series, or what tabletop game you think I should cover next month. And be sure to subscribe so you can be the first to know when new episodes come out for release. Bye!